hey if you are going to attempt ipmet indore on 23rd of may 2024 then this video is very very crucial for you i have come up with some common traps that have been observed over the last 5 year actual ipmet indore examination knowing this trap will definitely help you to boost your overall score not only help to clear the cutoff but you will also benefit by boosting your overall score in the final selection let's look at the first trap so if i look at this two question if i look at the first question okay generally a student would not attempt this question log of something raised to log and you know lot of log involved in it but if you know if you just simply analyze this term you simply analyze this particular term you can clearly see that this can be simplified as log of x to the base 2 the whole square why because i use the rule log a raised to log of n to the base a is equal to n i simply use this rule and now the moment i look at this the moment i write down this i it i clearly see this as a quadratic equation a very basic quadratic equation y square minus 5 5 plus 6 is equal to 0 i get the value of y and then i equate it to x and i get the answer correct so this is something that students you know don't attempt just because it's a log question and it is scary similarly if i look at the next question first of all they ask you power set then power set of power set of power set of power set of a but if you take step by step if you just try to identify what is this power set of a a is a null set so the power set of a will have only one element now this has one element so power set of a set which has one element will have 2 raised to 1 that is two element and now can i say you can keep on solving this question whether there are four power set or 10 power set it's not scary it's easy correct and hence you need not be worried about what are the type of question you should not be ignoring the question because they are scary look at the question try to figure out if there is some catch in the question okay if there is some shortcut technique that i can apply and get my answer very quickly at least spend 30 to 40 second on a question to see whether it is whether it has some uh you know uh, tricks to solve faster let's move on to the see next two questions this question in the last 5 years i have seen similar question been asked three times in ipmet indore so both the questions are same according to me if you look at the first question if there are if a three digit number is chosen at random what is probability that it is divisible by neither 3 or 4 there are total of 900 three digit numbers now if the numbers are not divisible by 3 one third there are consecutive numbers in the consecutive numbers one third of them will be divisible by 3 which means the remaining two third will not be divisible by 3 one fourth will be divisible by 4 the remaining three fourths is not divisible by 4 so this is the required probability 2 by 4 which is 1 by 2 you need not even calculate how many numbers are divisible by 3 then divisible by 4 then you find the intersection and say how many numbers are divisible by 12 and do all those you know tam jam and get the answer no need no need of doing that let's apply the same thing in the next question the number of four digit integers which are greater than 1000 1000 is not included and divisible by both 2 3 2 and 3 but not by 5 for a time being let us include 1000 why because i want to check for all the four digit numbers so 1000 will be included for a time being let's include 1000 so how many four digit number would be there 
9004 digit number would be there divisible by 2 so half the number is divisible by 2 one third of the number are divisible by 3 and one fifth of the number are divisible by 5 but i want not divisible by 5 so i will say 4 by 5 of the number are not divisible by 5 ones are twos are this is 3000 3000 into 2 is 6000 6000 divided by 5 is 1200 and that's my answer if there would have been 12001 or something a number which is very close by i need to check for this number 1000 actually in 9000 that number 1000 is included i do not have to include 1000 in when i am checking because it says greater than 1000 But if I observe carefully, in this twelve hundred number, thousand is anyways not included because it is not divisible by three. So we have anyways excluded thousand, right? So we we'll, I show you two questions, and there is one more question which was asked in IPMA and there are from two thousand nineteen till two thousand and twenty three, where the similar concept was supposed to be used. Similar concept was used, and you need to understand that. you should not be using the lengthy approach to solve a particular question for example for the second question you what you would have done you would have done three vents three circle intersection only by 2 only by 3 only by 5 2 3 3 5 2 5 and then 2 3 and 5 and do some calculation and get the answer chances that you might do some calculation error and second you are wasting your time by doing such a lengthy calculation so make sure that you know the best approach to solve the particular question especially the question which are coming very often in ipm at indor for example this question type if i look at the next question uh this is the gem of a question okay uh, a rabbit is sitting at a base of staircase which has 10 steps it proceed to the top of the staircase by climbing either one step at a time or two steps at a time the number of ways it can reach the top is so i can do lot of permutation combination and get it done you know so many combination i can write down but then you need to apply your brain how can you do it little better so there are how many steps 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 steps the rabbit can climb on the first step there is one way of doing it in how many ways rabbit can come to the second step can directly jump to second or can come on first and then come on second so there are two ways of doing it in how many ways rabbit can come to the third step either can come to one then on two and then on three that's one possibility or can come one one and then directly to three second possibility or can come to two and then take one step and come to three so there are three ways of doing it so basically on the third step rabbit can come in one plus 2 three ways on the fourth step ideally it should be 2 plus 3 there are five ways of doing it let me show you which are those five ways it is basically 1 1 1 1 then one. or it could be you know uh, 1 1 and then directly 2 or it could be 1 2 and 1 or it could be 2 1 and 1 or it could be or the last way would be directly 2 or 2 so there are five ways of doing it and now once you have cracked this logic thinking something you know differently i know that here it will be 3 plus 5 eight ways 5 plus 8 is 13 8 plus 13 is 21 13 plus 21 is 34 21 plus 34 is 55 and 34 plus 55 is 89 there are 89 ways in which this can be done so at times you need to think something which is out of the box make use of options or do something differently some better approach and every year we have come across such questions which can be solved like this if you know the better approach or if you can crack that approach or you can eliminate the options and get the right answer so with this i remember one question in 2019 where you know 
साइन ऑफ ए प्लस बी कॉज ऑफ ए प्लस बी एंड एंगल बिटवीन द लाइन एंड वॉट नॉट मल्टीपल फॉर्मूला नीड टू बी यूज यू नो वन पेज ऑफ अ बुक वॉज नॉट सफिशियंट टू सॉल्व इट बट इफ यू कुड एलिमिनेट दी ऑप्शन यू कैन एलिमिनेट दी ऑप्शन एंड गेट टू द राइट आंसर इन थर्टी सेकेंड्स ओके सो ट्राई टू थिंक समथिंग डिफरेंटली समथिंग आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स इट्स एन आईफी मैट इंदौर पेपर and not any you know uh, any any other aptitude exam where it's very easy it could be solved uh, by just simply applying the values in the formula moving forward a very interesting question last year you know this question was asked uh, a lot of student made a mistake they saw this they could figure out that this is so easy straight forward question and then they they ended up marking a you know circle it's so clear x square plus y square minus 2gx minus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 it's a equation of circle But you need to understand that a point is also a circle with radius zero. It's a point circle. It's a point, right? So a lot of students they did not, you know, bothered or maybe they did not read the last option because the moment they saw this equation is circle, the moment they saw a circle available, they marked and they went ahead. Did not evaluate all the options. Okay, so evaluating every option is very important. You need to mark the option which is more obvious, which is more close. Okay, so evaluate all the option before you move ahead. That's the that's the next learning. Now moving ahead, if I look at this question, first question looks very scary. Okay, not options are also not very good. But if you are smart enough, okay, and if you assume the value of n. Okay, if you assume the value of n here as two, let's say, then this basically would be log to the base two, log of a to the base a is equal to one. This will give me log of a to the base two is equal to two, which will give me a is equal to four. Similarly. Here also, if I substitute n is equal to two, okay. So if I substitute n is equal to two, if I solve this, I'll get this as four and two raised to four. That gives me sixteen. I'll get b is equal to sixteen. And similarly, for the last case also, this is three. So basically, c would be two raised to eight. That is two hundred and fifty-six. So I got the value of a, I got the value of b, and I got the value of c. And now I just need to check which option satisfies. It I can clearly see that first option does not satisfy. Four square plus sixteen square is definitely not equal to two fifty-six square, so does not satisfy. C minus b is two forty. Is not equal to sixteen minus four. That is twelve ka square. So the only option left is fourth option. I mean, if even if you want to verify, you can verify. You get the same answer. So assuming the value at the right time is very important. It's very crucial to assume the value at the right time. This question could have been simply solved by assuming the values. In exam, they are not going to check how did you solve. In exam, what matters is whether you have. Type the right answer, or you have marked the right option, or not, is what going to matters. If you look at the next question, this question can be solved in ten seconds, fifteen seconds max. The moment they ask you coefficient of the terms, you simply substitute x is equal to one. If you know the technique, you you can get this question in fifteen seconds. Otherwise, probably you keep on expanding, and you know even three minutes will be less. So five into one is five minus nine is minus four raised to an even number will be four raised to four, that is two hundred and fifty six. That's my answer. So not assuming values of the variable is another mistake that a lot of student you know they they do in the actual exam. So you need to make sure that you assume the values, the right values for the variable and solve the question. So that's it. Thank you. i am sure this session was very helpful for all of you and if you are still looking for write down some free test free ipmed and dot test just click on this qr code enroll for an ims 0v program you will get one ipmed and dot mock free available on the in the student portal not only ipmed and dot you will get ipmed and dot ipmed rotag gipmed and pet sct mocks also one one mock each of every exam for you to practice 
थैंक यू एवरी वन एंड ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर ऑल दी अपकमिंग एग्जाम्स